Hi folks, I'm Joe with Premier One Supplies and today we're going to open up and set up a Solar Stop 240 Energizer. Let's get started. I've already opened my box. I'm going to upturn it. To take it out. Now be careful because it is a glass solar panel, so that's why we're moving slowly and carefully. Open the lid. Inside, you'll find a set of directions. We're facing the energizer. I have my solar tester here. Wiring harness, ground link. See what else is loose? Gently lower the container again. Energizer. Solar panel. Packaging. Battery. Packaging. And two ground rods. Make everything look nice. Set my battery off to the side, along with the ground rods, and the side plate. Have some internal connections. We are ready to connect the solar panel to the energizer body. On the inside of the unit, there is a little plug. The cable from the solar panel will fit on that plug on the inside. There is an external plug that is for the 110 volt charger recharger. So, let's install the panel, lay the energizer on its back, carefully lift the panel. There's a little ledge here holds that panel in place and then that the seam between the two panels there's a seam on the energizer body we're just going to line that up plug the panel into the unit lower it and then just gently snap that into place we're now ready to install the battery we have two leads a red positive lead and a black negative lead. They are color coded to the battery, so red to red, black to black. So to put on our terminal ring, we take one of the supplied bolts, lock washer, standard washer, terminal lead, one more washer, Partially thread that in place. And follow the same step for the positive terminal. Right. Now, we're going to have it face, have the terminals facing towards the inside of the energizer. And I'm positioning my wires. So we'll just slide right in. And then I'll tighten down with an 8 millimeter wrench. And these don't have to be torqued down, they just have to have good metal metal contact. I'll bundle my wires together. Partially lift the battery in and slide 
and make sure you're not catching the solar panel cable in there. So the battery's in place. We're now ready to button up the energizer. Take your side plate. Place it like so. There are three thumb screws. The thumb screws only need to be finger tight, though there is a slot for a standard screwdriver if your hands need a little help. All right, and now we're ready to add on the ground and fence terminals and the wiring harness. Normally you would undo the cable from around the harness, but since we're still inside, I'll just connect them so they dangle a little bit. So this is our ground connection or ground link. Place that on the ground side or the ground terminal as indicated by the ground symbol. And add on the terminal cover. And same process for the fence lead. There is an on off switch on the side. There is a two designation and a one designation. The two or the double line indicates full power and the single line indicates half power on this energizer. To recharge the unit if you're low on power, as in if this energizer starts blinking with a red light or if your battery tests below 12.4 volts, take your 110 recharger, plug this in at an outlet there is a port on the side of the energizer. Remove the rubber bung. Insert the plug to recharge. And depending how far down you are on that battery, it could take a day or two days for that to be fully charged. You can operate the unit during that time, though. The IntelliShock 240 comes with two 18-inch ground stakes. The first connects directly to the negative terminal of the energizer. The second, using the ground link supplied with the unit, connects like so. And we'll just stretch that out when they're installed and you're ready to go fence. If you have any questions about Premier Premier items, you can give us a call at 800-282-6631 or visit our website at premieronesupplies.com. Have a wonderful day.